Off the coast of New Hampshire, fisherman David Gaithel is navigating a sea of government regulations. The amount of shrimp he's allowed to take from the Gulf of Maine has been reduced by three quarters since last year. And now regulators, worried about dwindling fish populations, want to cut the cod catch along the New England coast by as much as 77 percent as well. Fishermen like Gaithel say they won't survive the new restrictions. Ground fish is our primary money maker. That's what really pays the bills. In the past, when you know they had these spasms of fooling around with a particular stock, they didn't really fool with all of them at once. So you could try and turn your attention to other things. But now there's no place to turn. And these funny shaped boxes here are large closed areas that have been closed since basically the mid 90s. Regulators say they have no choice. Oh, We've been trying to rebuild ground fish stocks since the mid 90s, particularly the two cod stocks. And we, at times we thought we were making progress, at least a little bit of progress for some of the stocks, but we haven't been. And now things have actually gotten worse. They can't say for sure why cod stocks are so low, but blame a combination of overfishing and rising water temperatures. Commercial fishermen have been catching cod in these North Atlantic waters since the 1600s. It was once so plentiful here that fishing, along with timber, formed the basis of the New England economy. Some fishermen question the science behind the new regulations, which still need to be approved by the U.S. Department of Commerce. The latest cuts are expected to mean a loss of $15 million or more to the already struggling $80 million a year industry. If the only way to save a fishery is to completely destroy the fishermen, then that's bad policy, that you have to find a way for the two to coexist. But as long as the fish are threatened, so too is this New England tradition. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, Hampton, New Hampshire.